welcome back with Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. Uh, we just got done with all the missions, so we're just gonna go ahead and return back to the settlement. And if you guys like this video or this series, then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get going. Yes, let's. Okay, there we go. Hmm, I see you finished all the morning tasks. Yeah, we hit all the essential ones. Good work, everyone. The food's almost ready. Just give it a little more time. Uh, looks like we came back right on time then. Is it luck or intuition? Either way, there's more than enough to go around. I'm sure you must be starving after riding all the other planes all morning. Well, I am pretty hungry. Running can be surprisingly strenuous. It smells wonderful. I think this is starting to make me feel hungry. Me too! Hey, not eating before it's done! <laughs> anyway, let us let me thank you for working hard this morning. Take a seat. We'll begin our midday meal in just a minute. Rini and the others sat down and waited for the meal to be served. After eating their fill of warm, fragrant nan bread and savory kebabs, they all washed it down with a cup of Shida's finest herbal tea. Ah, that really hit the spot. I still want to eat more, but my stomach is protesting. That naan flatbread you made was really delicious. It tasted so fresh, too. <laughs> I baked it on a kind of collapsible stove. I'm glad you liked it. I doubt you see breath like that much in the Empire. Ooh, I don't think I could eat another bite. Shida's tea was wonderful. She finished the meal, too. Yeah, must have been practicing quite a bit while I've been away. Your tea etiquette was perfect as well. I hope you will continue to learn and improve. Thank you. <laughs> she just got praised by the cool boy. Ali! <laughs> Looks like you were able to recover your strength. Hopefully you're able you're about ready to start thinking about afternoon's tasks. Oh yes, of course. Shall we get started on clearing up first then? Oh, don't need to worry yourself with that. Oh no. Hmm, then we should begin. Alright, what do you got for me this time? Cameraman Cap- What? A hey, visiting Karen by the name of Norton has left for the Nordhans unaccompanied. I would like you to go after him and ensure his safety, but first, please visit me at my home as a wood. So, so there's a cameraman in the middle of the wild right now, just like by himself, just like, you know what? This is a good idea. I'm like, oh man. I bet money when we find him surrounded by monsters. There are only a few, but they all seem pretty challenging, not to mention tedious. This afternoon, I'd like you to turn your attention towards the Northern Highlands. You may need to travel to the south as well, though which will give you a lot of ground to cover. I left some fresh horses near the northern exit, so just head out that way when you're ready to leave. Thank you. Alright everyone, let's do this. We should swing by and visit the elder first, since he's the client for our only essential request this afternoon. That seems sensible. Okay, let's pay the elder a visit. Aha, take care everyone. Alright, so we're gonna go off and do that. Everyone's gone apparently. Can't believe a cameraman just- oh my god. He's like, yeah, let me go as well with just my camera and and my common sense. Don't worry, nothing bad will happen. Welcome. I assume you've seen our request. We did. It mentioned that Cameron's made his way out to the summit on his own. That's right. He goes by the name of Norton and is currently residing here on a vacation of sorts. I believe he said he worked for a company called the 
Imperial Chronicle. Isn't that where we get our books from? I wasn't expecting to hear that name out here. He's quite firm about the idea of taking photographs of something in the northern region of the Highlands. I plan on having you all escort him there in the afternoon, but apparently he was unable to wait until then. He took off by horse on his own. Really? How childish. <laughs> I assume he simply couldn't control his passion as a photographer. He must really be taken by whatever it is. There are so many ruins from ancient and Thurian civilization in the northern region of the Highlands. It's likely that he went to visit the statue of the Guardian there. Guardian? What exactly is the statue? It's one of the most symbolic ancient relics here in Nord. Legend has it that the Guardian it represents sealed away in evil dungeon within the ancient quarry of the north. Wow, that's quite the grandiose legend. At any rate, we should catch up with him as soon as possible. Monsters aren't the only reason the northern region can be dangerous. Hmm, it's not an area those not from the north should travel across alone. Could you please find him for us and keep him safe? Understood, leave it to us. Let's make our way there immediately then. Indeed, we need to lead the settlement to the northern entrance. I leave this in your hands then. Take care now. Oh wait, no, 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 I saw that, I saw that. Oh yeah, because you're a side quest too, aren't you? I have to go all the way around just to say hi to you. Oh my god. I've been waiting for you all. Did you all have a look at my request? We did. You want us to hold a class for children, right? What do you want us to teach, though? Don't worry, it's nothing too difficult. I just want you to teach them a little bit about Erebonia. I see, that explains why you asked us then. This is a good chance for them to learn about life outside the settlement. They attend Sunday class, so there's fine in regards to regular studies. Might I ask how Sunday school is carried out here? A traveling priest comes by once a month to hold it. We really can't be thankful enough for all his efforts. When you think about it, the sheer amount of work the church does on such a huge scale really is amazing. Indeed, it's all thanks to the goddess's generosity. Do you have time to help? If so, I'll call the children over. Yes, we're ready when they are. Thank you. Oh, I meant to say, we want this to be similar to Sunday school, so we'd like just one of you to serve as a teacher. Feel free to pick among yourselves, though keep in mind that guys isn't a candidate. Hmm. Who's ideal candidate for this then? Hmm. I believe each of us would have our own unique things to teach here. That's true. I think it'd be best to go with Emma then. Actually, I believe that you would be the best candidate for this, Reed. Of course it would be me! Of course you wouldn't give me the option, game! Why don't you give me the option who I want to teach? I would've chose Emma because, yeah, she... She knows so much about everything that it's just like you be the natural teacher of these things but she's like nah I'm, I'm not gonna have this nah you have it what i was thinking the same thing myself actually social standing's pretty important in everybody and there's a broad variety of opinions about it but you're like kind of a special case rain that's true his unique position allows him to discuss things from a relatively unbiased point of view but I think you're a good choice, Reen. Even taking your position out of the equation, you're almost always the center of our class anyway. Well, I suppose I can't say no if everyone feels that way, can I? Alright then, I'll do it. Ha, huh, thanks. Well, looks like we're ready to begin. Wonderful, I'll get at the children right away. I hope it doesn't ask me questions or something, because I'll be like, um... This is all the children in the village? Dang. Is that everyone? I don't see Toma anywhere though. Um, Toma's part of the older group in Sunday school, so... Yeah, he got work to do too, so he can't come. I see. I was hoping he'd be here too. Let's get started then. <laughs> I'm so excited. Glad to hear it. 
I guess I should introduce myself first. I am Rune Schwarze. My friends and I came here from Thor's Military Academy. Thor's Military Academy? <laughs> You're from the same academy as Gaius then. School's for studying this stuff, right? What do you study there? Well, we get taught all kinds of things, really. There are basic subjects like history, math, but being in Military Academy, we also learned the art of combat. That's the same stuff like and everyone else uses to fight monsters, isn't it? That's so cool! I see, you've got a boy side to you after all. Yeah, despite being a little scared cat. I, I am not! <laughs> now, there's no need for teasing. Hey, hey, how far is that cabin from here? How far? In terms of distance? Um, you came here on something called a train, didn't you? Could you tell us how long that trip took? Oh, that makes it a bit easier in that case. It took about eight hours, right? If we take the transfer times out of the equation then, we were on the train for about eight hours, I'd say. That's pretty far. Daddy told me the trains are fast too, so it still took that long even then? It, and it is asking me questions. I'm like, oh, please, I cannot get these wrong because I bet money the people on the silence are going to be commentary. They're like, oh, no, you were wrong. Um, don't tell them that. I'm like, why don't you teach it then? Bet money. What, I hope I don't get anything wrong, but... It must be super far away then. It really is. Though the fact that we still made it here today is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, I... It had taken a lot longer by horse. Yeah, if it was taken by horse, whoa, that would have taken days. Um, can I ask something too? Of course. All right, what's the biggest place in Erebonia then? That would be Heimdall, which is our capital state. I, I am so glad that wasn't a question for me to answer because I did not know the answer. Heimdall, that's a cool name. Yeah, it sounds strong. That's a unique way to judge it. Um, how many people live there? Mm hmm. Oh my god, you're actually gonna ask me how many people live there. I don't know. I don't think we ever covered this in the game previously. I don't know how many people were in there, uh, but it's, I don't want to say 800,000 because that seems too big. So it's either 100, 100,000 or 300,000. I'm gonna say 300,000. Is it around 300,000 people? No, that's Barha's calculation. In that case, okay. You said it's the biggest. So it means it must be 800,000 then. From what I remember, it's 800,000 people live there? God dang. And I'm so glad the freaking silent people didn't commentary at all about what I would say. 800,000? Is that a lot? <laughs> Seems like they can't comprehend a number that big just yet. Then again, I can't imagine that many people in one place either. Haha, <laughs> you're not the only one. Of course, you'd never actually see that many people all at once. Granted, he struggles from time to time, but they're learning the correct information in the end. So it seems. A lot of it's common knowledge, though. Mm, well, I'm just glad to see them learning something. He's not a bad teacher. If anyone's looking for a credit, please free to ask. Um, can I ask something then? Of course, what is it? How long was Thor's for first bill? Guys told me all about how it was a long history, but I've forgotten when exactly it was made. Hmm. Oh my god. Okay, I know for a fact it's not... Wait, when was Thor's founded? Okay, it was Thor's. I want to say 50, but they said the first king was the one who basically founded Thor's. So it had to be way back in like the 200s. So I'm going to say... I'm gonna say two thirty. Oh my god, I was right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I was really like, oh jeez, what is it? 
Thoris was founded 220 years ago, roughly 30 years after the War of the Lions ended. The founder was none other than the Emperor Dreckles, a legendary figure in the Emperor and even here in the Hives. I knew it! Oh, damn. I'm, I'm so glad I was somewhat paying attention to, to the history classes in this game. Founding the Academy was one of the last things he did before he passed away. That's a long time. I didn't know the em Emperor Treckles was the one who founded it. I know who he is too. He was friends with our ancestors, wasn't he? Yeah, he won the war and became the most important person in Erebonia. Yup, that's how he became the Emperor. Hearing you all talk about him really goes to show how deep his connection with the world was. So is there anything else you'd like to know? Mimi, I have a question. Well, it's almost time for us to finish up for the day. Is there anything else you'd like to know before then? Hmm, I think I've asked everything. I can't think of anything else either. You two really did ask a lot. Oh yeah? Seems like she's not all out just yet. You talked about them before, but what are nobles? Well, you see, there's been a class system in place within Erebona for a long time now. What's a class system? Hmm, could you give me a few minutes to think? I'm not entirely sure how I should answer this. Um, can I ask as well now that it's been brought up? Go ahead. I'm not sure if either of them will really understand if you try to explain normally, so could you give us your own thoughts on nobles instead? That might make things easier to understand. That makes giving an answer easier too. Wow, things escalated quickly, didn't they? Indeed. I wonder how he'll answer. Hmm, this is still a bit tough. I don't think there's really a right or wrong answer, so I'll just have to answer with my heart, I guess. To me, what you do, what do you believe nobles represent? Ooh, bonds with one's family, pride in one's lineage, no idea. <laughs> I, I really don't think you're going to say no idea. That's like the one thing you never want your teacher to say to you when you're asking a question. You're like, I don't know. He's like, how do you not know? You're the freaking teacher. So that one's out. Pride in one's lineage. Um... They do, but some of them are just assholes about it. Uh, and you know with him, he's a noble, but he's not known by noble blood. But he still loves his family. Um, so I think I'm going to go with this. Bonds with one's family. I think nobles are all about the bonds they have with their family. Oh. This is mostly from my own perspective, really, and it's not something exclusive to nobles either, but they feel a sense of companionship through family name that they've been born with. That very sense is what supports them through life and inspires them to work as much as they can live up to. I'm probably not explaining it too well, but that's how I feel. I see. I'm just rambling now. Sorry. No, it's okay. I've learned a lot. Hehe, <laughs> you didn't really get it, but you sound really cool. Yeah. So that's how he feels. That was really thoughtful response. <laughs> One very like him as well. <laughs> it was. I'm very impressed to be honest. Regards, that should be enough for today. You should really thank him now everyone. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm glad I chose that one. I was like, oh yes, everyone likes my answer. Let me give you something to thank you for taking time to teach the children. I believe that was a very valuable experience for all of them. Haha. <laughs> Truthfully, I don't feel like I did a very good job explaining things. I ended up spending too much time thinking about their questions, too. <laughs> you could tell you were really enthusiastic, though. I think the kids picked up on that, too. She's right. They all seem to have been enjoying themselves. Your answer to the final question was rather impressive as well. Yeah, looks like the kids aren't the only ones who learned something new today. Huh. I got so caught up in the details that I couldn't really explain myself properly, but I'm glad you guys think I did okay. <laughs> you should have more confidence in yourself. At any rate, here's your conversation with playing teacher today. Ooh, thank you. Well then, I wish you the best of luck with the field study of yours. May the blessing of the winds and the goddess be with you. Well, that's over, so...
off into the lands of the north. Um, wait, but wasn't there a third one though? Okay, I thought so. Yeah, so there is a third one. I just gotta find the pasture wherever that is. Ah, way on the other side. I did not notice that there was another gate here at all. Hey there, I was waiting for you. How in the world did the fence end up like this? Your guess is as good as mine. Seems like it got broke sometime just before noon. Unfortunately, some of the sheep managed to escape too. I doubt there's any need to worry about monsters getting them because they're surprisingly fast, but... Would you be able to go out and find them for me? How many she managed to escape? Five of them in total. Based on their hoof prints, it seems like three went north and two went south. So I gotta check both ends for sheep, basically. I'd honestly like to go search for them myself, but I need to keep, get the fence fixed up first. Otherwise, the rest of them will break out for it as well. Don't worry, we'll take care of them. Shall we begin the search immediately then? That's probably the best idea, especially with how vast the highlands are. We'll need to make some preparations of our own before leaving, though. I agree. Heading out there will be insufficient supplies is foolhardy. Right then, let's get started once we're ready. So I'm going to go out the regular gate that I've been dealing with first before I go out there. Because like I said, if I go for the required first, the story is just going to advance automatically. And that would really suck for me because I want to bump up rank as much as possible. Like in the last chapter, apparently I missed a mission, which I don't remember I even asked for. I'm so mad about that. Yeah! And there's one now. Ah, found one. I'm surprised it managed to come all the way out. Yeah, I'm surprised it got all the way out here without being snatched up by a monster. What are you going to do with the sheep we find? I'll lead the sheep back to the center with my horse. But we should leave guiding them back until after we found all five. Okay, we'll leave that to you then. Found the first sheep. Let's get going. And thought it was much. So it's like way yeah. over here. What, are you standing guard over the sheep or something? Is that one of them? Yes, that's one of the sheep we're looking for. Whew, that's two of them. Yeah, there's still a few more out there though. Let's get going. Yeah. Now the other one well the other three are probably on the other side, so probably gonna head that way. Ride onto the northern region of the highlands? Yes, yes I would. Ew. Ah, the wind here feels so nice. Agreed, it has a different flavor of freshness to it than the winds in the northwestern highlands. Oh, that's due to all the sheer cliffs around here. It gives the wind in this area a unique feel. 
the winds take many forms and bestow countless blessings on the people of Nord. Well, I get I can see why your people place such importance on the wind. Yeah, and the view here is just as nice as the vistas in the southwest, too. Anyway, if we're all rested, we should get... What's wrong? Uh-oh, nothing, really. I was just looking at that cliff over there. Is it just me, or does it look like there's something buried in it? Like, some kind of giant? Where are you going about? There's no something... Yep, that's probably the guardian. I swear if it moves me go near, I'm gonna be so mad. What in Arios is that? I, I have no idea. Some kind of statue maybe? Do you think it's related to the stone circle and the southern reaches of the highlands? Honestly, we don't know all that much about ourselves. It's an ancient statue said to be the guardian of the Nord Highlands. A guardian, huh? I guess it does give that kind of impression. Oh, she's not liking that statue for some reason. Emma? You alright? Oh yes! I was just stunned speechless by that statue. Oh nah. She was looking at that statue hard like I don't like you. Well, I can't say I don't understand the feeling of awe. I wonder how massive it must look when you're up close. I imagine it's more than likely that the photograph we're seeing is in that area. So we'll need to venture closer regardless. By the way, if you head northeast of the statue, we'll find an ancient quarry. And to the northeast is a scenic lake, Lacrima. It's always hopeful to get the lay of the land, so there's no harm visiting both of those sites too. It makes sense to me. Alright, let's get moving. And we'll go sightseeing in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed it and those lovely children I had to teach, they were so cute. But um, we'll go ahead and uh, find those sheep too next time as well. And this wayward photographer, whatever he may be. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this uh, video and the series, then please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Bye, see you later.